The family of a food service worker at Smith State Prison is speaking out after investigators say inmate Jadrakis Hart killed her Sunday morning, then killed himself. Today, the mother of Ariane Grace sat down with WSCV's Sarah Smith. Uh, Sarah, how is she doing? Well, Tina, she's devastated. Ariane Grace, nicknamed Ari or called by her middle name, Shanae, was a mother of two, a daughter, a sister, a friend. GDC investigators say Hart and Grace had a personal relationship. Her mother, Deshonda Hagen, says this should have never happened and the system failed her beloved daughter. There is no way there should have been a handgun, an inmate with a handgun. And they're seeing all these things about my daughter. Do they even know? Y'all, nobody knows the real story because she's not here to tell it. A mother grieving for her child, Deshonda Hagens found out her daughter, Ariane Grace, was dead through social media. Inmates at Smith State Prison messaging Grace's sister, saying her last words were, quote, but I have children. I just started screaming and, and panicking, and we just, I didn't wait for nobody else to call because I just wanted to go and put eyes on my child. So we went to the prison. In a statement, the GDC confirms this, saying the family was on scene for seven hours. Hagens describes her daughter as a caring, hardworking young woman someone who will go out of her way to show kindness to anyone. But her mother worried for her kind heart. And I used to always tell her, you can't let everybody get close to you because when they see that you have a kind heart and you will help anybody, they'll take advantage of that. She says her daughter made a quote, bad decision by being nice to an inmate, but that should not have come with a death sentence. Regardless of anything, she was a mother. She loved her kids. She was a daughter. She was a sister. Like, she has family. She had a heart. She wasn't a bad person. Who hasn't made bad decisions and stuff? That don't mean you deserve to die. Now she is asking for answers. Why didn't they protect her? Why? They need to put things in place and make sure the prisons are being ran correctly so that no other mother has to go through this, no other wife, no other sister has to go through this. Hagens is left with Grace's Statesboro home that she says was destroyed when the GDC investigators allegedly searched it on Monday. They destroyed my daughter's house. They took trash out of the dumpster in her apartment complex. All my grandchildren's stuff was in there and they opened those trash bags up, left old food, trash, dirty diapers, all that stuff in my daughter's home. When asked about the contraband, a GDC spokesperson sent this statement, quote, accusations that the GDC has not been, quote, cracking down on contraband are grossly inaccurate. The battle against contraband is daily and occurs across all GDC facilities, not just Smith State Prison, end quote. It continues to say full facility shakedowns, K-9 shakedowns, and quick strikes are conducted on an ongoing basis. I did reach out to Governor Kemp's office asking for a response to some of Hagen's statements. I have not yet heard back. The attorney for Hagen says they plan to take legal action against the GDC. This incident is still under investigation. Sarah Smith, WSAV News 3, on your side.